Hello. This is David Johnson. Today, we're going to try to figure out who the Antichrist is and when it's going to be him. Uh, 1 John 2, 18. Little children, it is the last time. So we know the Antichrist was back there 2,000 years ago. It can't be Ronald Reagan and Obama and all you guys in the future. Because it was back there 2,000 years ago with Little Johnson. It was the last time then. And not only did he say it was the last time, if you heard that the Antichrist shall come, there are many Antichrists. This, this is the key about the Antichrist, about there are many Antichrists. Thereby we know it's the last time. But when you take that word time and transfer it from the Greek, John was saying it's the last hour. Because he said, Hoorah, H O R A S. In Greek, mean hour. Thank you. Okay. First, let's talk about Nero. Nero was a bad boy back then. He hated the Christian. He put them in a reno, let the, let the bears and I say the animals and things ate them. He dipped them in wax. He put them in his garden and he lit his garden up in the nighttime by burning Christian. He was a cruel man. Some people thought he was the Antichrist. Well, he was one of the Antichrist. Because Jesus said there was many Antichrist. Okay, well, he fit the role of the Antichrist because it was in the last time when he was doing that. But it also, it says about the Antichrist, it says also that Paul called him the man of sin. And we shall know him because there was going to be an apostasy in the land. He said, that's how we're going to know the man of sin, because the apostasy was going to come first. So all this had to happen before 70 A.D., that the apostasy was in the land. Okay. But the scripture also says, when Jesus come back in 70 A.D., he was going to destroy him with the brightness of his coming. So, Vespasian and Titus, they sat up in the temple and they committed some sacrifices in the temple. Uh, but Titus wanted to save the temple and give it to the emperor for a gift. But he wasn't the man that was destroyed by the brightness of Jesus Christ in 70 AD. So we got to figure out who this man was. Okay. Let's figure. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. His name was Isla Ben Simon. Ben Simon was sitting to make the last sacrifice in the temple before it was destroyed. And he was sent by John of Gishula to make the last sacrifice in the temple. And John of Gishula tricked him and they would kill him actually during the time of 70 AD. And this was the time of Christ's coming. So John, so Israel being Simon was the one, I believe, that was destroyed by Jesus, I said, I believe, by the brightness of his coming. Because he was the last one in the temple, and who and it, it, and the scriptures say that he had to be destroyed by the brightness of his coming. So John, so Israel, Ben Simon, died during 7 AD. They said Titus and Vespasian. They lived on till 81 and 91 AD. Uh, so it, they didn't wasn't destroyed by the brightness of his coming. Because they lived 10 years after the war was. 
This is Daniel Johnson. We will continue this later, but I still believe that Islam being Sana was the man. Thank you, and I'm out of here. Hello, this is Dave. Hello.